Do you remember your first home run, your first career home run? I was in Atlanta, I believe. My first home run, I hit to left field. Um, oh. I think it was McFarland. I can't remember exactly. I'm old now. I don't remember too far <laughs> back. As I do, but, um, I believe that was my first home run was in Atlanta. What was it like getting a walk with the bases loaded? You know, I know for me personally, I mean – when I see ducks on the pond, you know, I'm licking my chops and I'm getting up there. Sometimes I'm overly aggressive. I get myself out sometimes because I just want to get the job done so much. So, I mean, for you to just take that pass, I mean, what was it like for you? What was going through your mind? What was your thought process? I mean, what, what, what did you think about it? I was shocked at first. Probably I think if I go back in the film and look at it, I looked in the dugout going, what the heck is going on here? Uh, you know, it's the first time. I've never seen it happen before. Um, and I was feeling really good at the time, you know, I was pretty locked in at that time. And, um, but, you know, I had a great hitter behind me, Brett Main was, you know, he was a contact hitter. And your job in baseball is to keep the line moving, right? Um, you know, when you made that statement as I get my, I lick my chops. I don't really lick my chops that much. I just want to keep the line moving. I don't want to be the guy to make that last out or I don't want to be the guy who messes up the line. And, um, that comes with age and experience. You learn to say, you know what, take my hit, move on, and allow your teammate to do his job. How did you manage to just stay just that locked in, that good, that, like, just just how did you do it? It's hard to explain because as you get mature and as you get older, you know, I try to tell the young kids that you're going to develop as every year goes on. You're going to learn yourself as things go on. And if you're not learning, then there's a problem, right? And, you know, I kind of mastered batting practice. That's what I kind of put in perspective for people and, and especially with the young guys that I work with I sit there and I tell them I said you have a guy that's it I don't know he's probably like 60 feet away maybe or whatever it is he's throwing 69 70 miles an hour and he's telling you what's coming every single day he does this every single day and if you can't work on things or master him what are you going to do when this guy throws a wrinkle that's and true. you'll learn that as you get as you go and you get yeah. older and things get as I, you know, I have to apologize because I never really watched your career. I had to do a little bit of research on you a little bit. And then yeah. I go, wow, you know, and I was watching your swing and I'm going, okay, he's, he's coming to his own right now. Four plus player, you know, in the major leagues, he's coming into his own. And this year I could see a little bit of a difference. I can see how you were taking your hits when they were needed. You know, not every pitch is a long ball pitch, not every situation is. And... To me, a good teammate is getting on base and letting your man do his job. No, I really appreciate that. I mean, obviously coming up early in my career, I got caught up in, you know, the long ball and the way the game's evolving and hitting the home run. And, you know, I kind of got away from what got me there. And that's, like you said, taking your hits. And um, and that's just kind of what I got back to. Obviously, we have an old school type of mentality with the Mets. We have Chili Davis over there. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's good too. Chili's good. Yeah, we love Chili. We love Chili. And he's, he's always preaching to us. Yeah. He's the whole field. You know, the home runs will take care of itself. If you uh, my dad hard. told me this to help you. My dad always told me this. Don't chase the fence. Let the fence get in the way. He uh, says there's a whole bunch of – he says you can name a ton of players to hit home runs yeah. and hit 200. But it's very hard to find a lifetime 300 player that got released. <laughs> true. That's so, just, hey, know, I love that. You know, I love that. That's so true. Really good at that. <laughs> exactly. No, I love that. I you mean, know, and it's you very know. hard. It's very hard for a coach to sit there and say, well, you're not hitting with power. I'm like, but I'm putting the ball in play. And if I'm on the bench, who are you going to pick? You're going to pick the long ball guy who maybe hit 200, or are you going to pick the contact guy in the situation? that is putting the ball in play and give you the best opportunity to win. And most of the time, they're going to pick the guy who can, who can put that ball in play. Unless it's a serious situation, they got to try to get one and sneak one in. But they're going to pick that yeah. home, run, home run guy with one out. They ain't going to pick him with two outs. They ain't going to pick him with one out and then let that – hopefully we can keep that line moving, right? <laughs> exactly. No, 100%. I mean, I love that. That's our model. Keep the line moving. You know, we, we trust in our team. We trust in each other. And – um, that's what we try to do. We we pass the baton and we we believe in each other. And that's good. I think that's why. I mean, us some of us young guys with the Mets. I mean, we we turned our career around, or we've been so successful over the last couple of years under Chile because of 
that approach and that mindset and that mentality we take with us.